Hi everyone, Matt here from MJL Tackle. If you own a Tracker Tempest Bivy, um, either the V2, the V2XL, the 100 or the 150 Bivy system, we think uh, here at MJL Tackle, we may have a product that you could be interested in. Uh, they're called Armour Joints. Uh, they're particularly strong and they've been specifically made for Pole 3 on the Tracker Tempest Bivy systems. Uh, it's something we've produced ourselves and uh, some of the problems that some of the anglers have on the bank is when they're fishing and they're setting up their bivvies sometimes accidents happen uh, particularly with pole three if I hold uh, up a pole three here for a, a Tempest 150 bivvy system what can happen is when you're setting up let's say you've left the door zipped up or you're in a tight swim you're putting the bivy together and often it's this pole three that you get most of the tension through and just occasionally accidents happen. And what can happen is uh, this pole here creases. So the section here bends all the way down and then your bivy is, is not working to its full potential for the session. The Tracker Tempest bivy is a fantastic range of bivy, um, but just occasionally accidents happen. And we've seen it here at MJL Tackle, bivvies that have come in second hand, where the joints have just been uh, bent, where there's too much tension being put through them. Um, so what we've tried to do is create uh, like a spare, I suppose, something that you could put in your bag, um, that you could have there for an occasion where if a pole, pole three, did bend or snap or break because of an accident that had happened on the bank, you could easily replace that joint um, very simply with a couple of these armour joints. Easy to put in your bag. You could purchase these as a pair. We're looking to sell them as a pair. Put them in your bag for an occasion such as that so you're not going to get caught out. Um, the other option, obviously, is to buy a, a pole through a tackle shop um, and fit it yourself. But we thought this would be a great solution just to have as a spare. Perhaps you might even fit them as standards. What we've tried to do is produce more power and more strength in this bend uh, to make it less susceptible so it can withstand some of the extra stresses and strains that you might accidentally put on pole three. So how do we do that? Well, I went to a design company um, who make products for JCB and Caterpillar and they looked at it and what they suggested and what we've done is we've reinforced this bend here. So it's like two layers. You've got a layer on the outside and a layer on the inside that goes round and just offers extra support and strength on that joint. So there it is, sold in pairs. I suppose the next question is, how do you fit it? Well, the first thing you need to do is, you can do this whilst the poles are on your bivvy. Um, we've tried to do it so that it can be done without having to take pole three off the actual block section. But the first thing you'd have to do in order to fit these is to cut the elastics. The bivvies come already with the elastics in place, similar to this one here. And in order to remove the elastic, what you're going to need to do is pull on that elastic and then you'll need some scissors, just some ordinary scissors from your tackle box. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut into this section here. So you're going to cut that cord. And then the next thing you want to do is inside there, there is a clip. And what you want to do is push that clip down further in. So just with a flathead screwdriver, it would be worth taking one with you when you go fishing if you've got this pack. Just push that clip all the way down further. So you push it further down into the pole so it's not in the way when you're fitting the new armour joint. And the same again with this side, the bottom part of the pole. Just make sure that that clip is pushed right in so it's not going to cause any issues when you fit in the new armour joint. So let's have a look. Hopefully then <laughs> your joint will look something like this. You might have a bit of elastic um, hanging out, but don't worry too much about that. These are the, the new poles that are being sent out by Tracker at the moment for their bivvies. So there's like a recess at the bottom and the armour joints have been uh, made to reflect that recess as well, okay? So just check that the pole that you're gonna be uh, fitting this to is the new style that's got the recess in the top section, but also the bottom section that's gonna fit in, okay? So once you've done that, the next thing to do then is to fit one of these. And you'll notice that one end, the elastic's a bit shorter, 
than the other end. This will basically keep the joint in place when you fit it. And the reason we've done this is to hopefully create more tension on this side when it's fitted. So this stays in place because I know what it's like when you're packing a bivy away and you're taking poles apart, it'd just be annoying if this kept popping out as well. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by putting a shorter elastic here, it's just creating that bit more tension. So when you are actually packing your bivy away, it will just still hopefully just pull out on this section here like they normally do. Okay, so to fit it then, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is cut off this bend here, okay? It might be that if you're using it and it's broken, it would have crumpled just there. So what we've done is we've produced little strips of paper, sticky paper, that you can put on to figure out where you're going to cut the pole. The pole, this joint will need to be cut off in order to fit the new armor joint. And the way we've done this is you basically need to be looking three centimeters up from this joint here, which is where the cut's gonna happen. Okay, so three centimeters up. This strip of paper is three centimeters. So what I'm gonna do is just run my thumb along the bottom of the pole here. As soon as I feel it start to bend on that joint, I'm gonna put that strip of paper. So let's have a see. So it's sort of bending just about there. So I'm gonna put my three centimeter strip just there, okay? Yeah, so just where it starts to bend, put that three centimeter little strip of paper just there. The V2 XL poles, it's only two and a half centimeters. So the strips will be a little bit shorter. But once that is on and pushed on, you then know where to cut to fit the armor joint. Because the worst thing you wanna do is cut too high up or too low down, because it will affect the length of the pole. So just simply stick that strip on. and. We've got these for sale as well. I'd recommend if you're going to buy the armor joints, buy one of these um, uh, pipe cutters as well because it's so much easier than something like a hacksaw. And again, you can just carry this on the bank with the armor joints. Um, what you want to do is when you're fitting this, you'll see there's a blade there. Let's see if I can get this to focus. You'll see there's a blade and you want to line that blade up with the white bit of paper, that strip, so the three centimeters, okay? And once you've got that in place, just tighten it. Yep, keep tightening and tighten it, and you'll feel it just grip. Now it's just a little bit, there we go, about up, about there, ooh. So you'll feel it just grip as you do it. Perfect, just there, okay? So tighten onto it, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate it round. So just keep twisting, 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 twisting. Once you've done it once, tighten up again. Okay, and twist again. That's just come off, but that's fine because I've got the right spot. Keep twisting, keep twisting, twisting, and tightening. And as you do it, as you rotate that round, it will gradually cut into the pole. Okay, so here we go. I've twisted and uh, turned. And now it's just popped off there. So I've just cut it. The thing that I would say is when you're using, there's the old elastic and clip. So there's the old joint removed. Um, when you are using these, just make sure that the pole is in between these. Because at first I put it all the way down and was trying to cut it there. And you're not getting the best part of the blade. So when you put the pole in, with these, I'll just loosen it off a little bit, just to show you. <clears throat> just make sure, loosen it a bit more, um, that the pole doesn't go all the way down to there. If it goes all the way down, it's in the wrong place. You need to sit it on these wheels here. There's two wheels, and then there'll be a gap. And then tighten onto it with this vice grip here. Tighten on, and then turn it. You're probably turning about 15 times and then tightening it up even more to grip in, to push that, the, the cutter into it. Turn another 15 times, tighten up. And then what you end up with is a really nice clean cut. Okay, so you can see there. So it's just basically rotating it round um, on the, the spot where the, the strip has identified where you need to cut. And then once you've done that, you're ready now to fit this new armor point, if I just turn the camera around a little bit so you can see, there we go. Um, 
So now you're ready to fit this bit here. And what you need to do is this clip will go into the pole. Just put your finger like that, just stretch it. And then what you're gonna do is push, can you see? Just pushing it in. Once it goes in a little bit, if I do that, okay, so it's in. I mean, it's, it's attached now, but this is where it's really good having uh, the screwdriver. Then you can push it in to get the tightness and the tension that you need. So just grip that onto the clip, push it in, and then it will go. Okay, so here it is. I've just pushed uh, with the screwdriver just to push it in a bit further with that going in and that's in. It was a little bit tight just pushing it in but once it's in you're there. So now the joint is on it's just a case of attaching the bottom part now in the same way really the bottom part of the pole. Let's move those out of the way. Okay so the bottom part here then needs to if I angle this round whoop Okay, and then this is going to go into here. So again, just push it in like that. Make sure that's in like so. Okay, so then that's in there. And then with your screwdriver to get the tension, you just need to push now that bracket down inside to get a good bit of tension uh, for the last bit. So I'll do that now and then we'll have a look and see what the finished item's like. Okay, so here's the armour joint fitted. So we've got it attached to the top section and then also the bottom section with a little groove so that just uh, keeps the pole where it needs to be in place. And when it comes to packing away, it's simply just the normal elastic that goes in. Um, the only other thing is that this section here it's not fixed completely, so it does swivel a little bit. You might want to put a bit of glue around there, which could help, or you could just leave it as it is, which is fine. But this would certainly get you away from a fix where one of the pole three angles is totally gone. You can fit a new pole and continue with your session. So hopefully this helps go through uh, the new armor joints that have been created, what they do, how to fit them. Please get in contact if you'd like to purchase uh, some of these. Like I say, they're always worth having if you've got one of the uh, Tempest Bivy systems, just to keep in your bag, um, just in case an accident like that happens. But these are, uh, these are an ideal replacement just to get you by when you're on the bank to ensure that you're fishing at your maximum. Um, hope that helps. Please do get in contact if you've got any more questions or any thoughts on what you've seen so far. It'd be lovely to hear from you. We've got the um, armour joints for the V2 XL, the uh, V2 the Tracker Tempest 100 and also the 150 Bivy systems. So please do get in contact if you'd like to purchase a set. There's a limited number at the moment. We're just going to see how this first batch goes. But if you would like to or order a pair of these, please do get in contact and uh, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.